Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to blow dry my hair guys. So you will be watching me blow dry this hair. When I tell you the struggle was real, the struggle was definitely real. So you want to definitely keep on watching. But the results are super, super amazing. And I was so, so happy with this. So yeah, I hope that you keep on watching and let me know what you think also in the comment section down below. Now, before you get in the video, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love and support. If you're new here, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family. Now let's get right into the video. So I'm starting here on my usual hair. This is basically what my hair is like most of the time, especially when I'm at home and I don't really have like anywhere special to go. Um, I sometimes don't really fuss about with my hair too much essentially so but it is clean it has been washed conditioned and I've also um, sealed the moisture in it I can't remember exactly when I done it I think it was probably about three to four days um, since I last moisturized my hair but it was still pretty nice and moisturized so I'm gonna go ahead and just undo every single twist that I have and then blow dry that part and then move on to the next section and repeat until it's done. That's normally how I work on my hair guys because it's so much easier for me to manage it that way. So essentially I'm just taking down the twist and I'm doing just a little bit of finger detangling um, just to help with the detangling process and I'm also using some heat protectant because I will be applying heat to my hair. Now this is the first time in a really really long time that I'm applying heat to my hair. There was a time, I think, I can't remember exactly when, but I think it was quite a few months ago where I went to the hairdresser to get my hair um, blow dried and straightened and then she started and she didn't finish. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but that was the, the last time that I actually put heat on my hair. But it wasn't even my entire hair because she did do just the bottom part or some of the bottom part and she did not complete it. But anyways, so, Heat protection is super, super important if you are going to work with heat just because you want to protect your hair from heat damage because essentially once it's heat damage guys, you're just going to have to cut off the entire length of that part that has been damaged. So I'm trying to avoid that. As you can see here, I'm really taking my time and it's spraying this heat protectant all over my hair, just making sure that, you know, every single bit of my hair is covered. I'm massaging as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and comb with a wide tooth comb again just to help with the distribution of this throughout my hair so initially i did not use any oils or any sort of leave-in conditioner just like you noticed and that's because like i said i moisturized my hair quite recently and it felt quite nice and soft while i was working on it so i thought i didn't really need it and also i did not want my hair to be really flat or sort of way down with product so that's why i was trying to avoid it but i just wanted to see roughly what it was going to be like blow drying it without adding anything else and then essentially um change it if i need to so i'm just uh, going here with my blow dryer i have the settings on number one so really the lower setting when it comes to like you know heat um so obviously you can have like the cold air setting as well and the hot the hot one so i'm using the hot air setting but is on number one um for that and also when it comes to like the intensity of it is also on number one and that's because I'm not trying to fry my hair or do anything drastic essentially so I just want a gentle blow dry um, in the process so nothing too drastic so I'm doing the chase method here um, so essentially as you can see I'm combing um, through my hair and also following that with the uh, blow dryer now that the reason why I'm doing it this way is because this blow dryer doesn't have a comb some blow dryers actually come with a comb and I couldn't find the comb um, anywhere else I've actually taken this to my um, to the store you know that like, you know the stores that sell like hair stuff and stuff so I've taken it there and I asked them if they had the comb for this and then they said no so essentially I had to buy a whole new blow dryer and to be completely honest guys i felt that would be a waste of money because i don't usually put a lot of heat on my hair so it's very very seldom that i um blow dry my hair or even you know straighten it or anything like that so i just felt like it was just a waste of money given i already have this at home so i thought i'll do the 
yeah the chase method and trust me this was hard work it, it does seem like it's easy in the video but trust me it wasn't easy at all because obviously doing the bottom part is easy and then it starts to crunch up a bit towards the top and essentially that makes it a little bit harder to actually get to the bottom of my hair and also because it's quite long so what I decided to do after that is to use uh, this uh, straightening brush. I've had this brush for such a long time. Again, I don't really use these things regularly But it's just there in the house for essentially if I ever need it And I've also got a hair straightener and I was thinking should I actually straighten my hair after this but It was just gonna be such a long process and to be completely honest I had no energy to do that and then I have you know a newborn baby at home That's not even one month old yet. So yeah, literally, I, I just couldn't. So I think this blow drying part was probably just the best I could have got out of the situation I'm in right now. So anyways, I'm using that brush, as you can see, it's giving me a much kind of straighter look compared to what I had um, initially. Now, the thing about this brush, guys, you have to be extremely gentle as you're working on your hair because it can actually break your hair if you're not using it properly. Um, so I'm just going to choose that part and then move on to the next. The one thing that I forgot to tell you guys is that just applying the heat protectant alone was actually making my hair pretty dry. It does look kind of soft in the video, but trust me, it felt really, really dry to the touch. It was nice and blow dried and, and kind of like straight, which was nice, but I still had a bit of dryness on it. So I decided that I was going to go ahead and use uh, some type of conditioner. Um, so I'm using, this is my regular, you know, conditioner that I use when I wash my hair. And I do use that to seal the moisture in my hair as well sometimes, not to seal, sorry, to moisturize sometimes. And I've also used my moisturizing butter, I just showed you guys, and that's available on my website. If you are interested, to seal the moisture in my hair and trust me, doing this in addition with to the, um, the heat protectant, really gave my hair so much moisture honestly and i found that it was a lot easier to blow dry as well because like the comb was literally just going through my hair you know a lot easily but obviously at the bottom i still had that issue where the hair just gets clumped up together um but anyways with a bit of patience i eventually managed to get everything done which was super great Unfortunately guys, I can't show you how I did my entire hair because you can imagine this video would be really long But it did take me quite a few hours to get this done And that's also because I did have quite a lot of interruption in between with the baby crying me needing to bless to breastfeed in between and take care of you know my two-year-old so literally it was quite a few hours. I think it was about four to five hours until I was completely done. Um, but I'm guess I guess it could have been a lot shorter if I didn't have you know any interruption in between. Um, but anyways, I'm super happy with the results. As you can see here, it does look kind of nicely blow dried, but it's not really as straight as I would have loved it to be. But this is the best that I can that I'm gonna get essentially. And to be honest, for a blow dry, I don't think it's it's bad at all. Um, obviously, if I was going to uh, straighten my hair, the process should be a little bit easier from here. Um, but just like I said, I just didn't have the time or energy to sit and get it done. And I just love the volume. Can you see how it's my hair's got so much volume? and it's got so much movement to it as well it's not weighed down so using a leave-in conditioner and a butter or an oil in addition to your um heat protectant definitely is the way to go because that gives you moisture in your hair and also it doesn't weigh it down and i was just in love i'm just in love with this hair right now honestly um it just looks really really good and the other day we went for a family photo shoot and my hair was like this and the man was like oh my god is that all your hair like, i've never seen someone with so much hair but anyways i'm just so in love with this i don't think the camera is really doing it justice when it comes to like the amount of volume that this hair has it has so much volume guys and yeah so much movement as well and i just love 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 this honestly it is super super nice and yeah so i'm gonna try and rock this perhaps for as long as i can so I'm going to prevent, you know, water from touching it because, you know, the moment water hits it, it is definitely going to change. 
and I felt like my roots were not really as properly blow dried but hey we move I just thought I'll do a quick length check guys my hair is actually waist length and that's amazing um, and that's just blow dried so I don't know what it would be like if it was um, you know straighten but I feel like it does need a little trim because I haven't had to trim in a while but again you don't necessarily need to trim your hair if, it, if there's no need for it but I feel like the ends are just a little bit rough um, but again I didn't have the time for it guys so here we have it now this brings me to the end of the video I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching today's video and if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up it really helps my videos out and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already I would really really appreciate that as well and also leave me a comment in the comment section down below tell me what you think um, of this have you blow dried your hair before how often do you apply heat to your hair and yeah I'll be so delighted to hear from you guys so thank you so much for watching until next time bye guys